Revenge Worldwide. Welcome to the revolution. My name is Evangeline and I'm the lead singer for Scottish symphonic rock band The Fall of Eve. To date we have released three EPs and one studio album and the track you're about to see is the title song from our 2016 EP If Even Angels Fall. You can find all our other videos on our YouTube channel. Just search for The Fall of Eve. We hope you enjoy!
Greetings, Rock Warriors, and welcome to the revolution. That was The Fall of Eve with If Even Angels Fall. This is the second episode of Rock Wars Worldwide TV. We have a great show for you tonight. The next band I'm going to play for you, if you know anything about Rock Wars at all, you know this band holds a special place in my heart. They're our December champions, Elevation Falls, and here's their lead singer, Hazel Jade Rogers, to introduce the song. Hey guys, this is Hazel from Elevation Falls, lead singer. Um, the next song you're going to be listening to is Demon. Uh, this song was written about an abusive relationship and breaking free from it. Um, I want to thank Rock Wars and obviously Sean for playing it. Thanks everybody.
Hi, I'm Adam Ezegalian from Adam and the Metalhawks. You're about to listen to our song, Turn Around. It was our first single ever put out, and we're really happy. So please watch that, stay safe, and enjoy. Yo, this is Bouncing Betty with BBIT on Rock Wars Worldwide's main challenge 2020. Leave a comment on how you liked it, leave a like, and leave a sub on Rock Wars Worldwide's channel because he deserves it. All right, now metal up your asses, boys and girls. I'm out. Walk a dangerous line Holding a loaded gun It's just a matter of time Before you hurt someone Put an eye on you
Hi, my name is Jonathan Pruitt. You're about to watch my band's single, Do It Again, from Say Never, on Rock Wars. Thanks for watching. So, a lot of my fans and people out there will know what song that is and where it came from. But this is uh, the first edition of With This Guitar. And this particular guitar here, I purchased from one of my old bass players uh, back in 1983 here in Sacramento, California. His name is Richard Plum, a British bloke. And he had this guitar, it's a 12 string guitar, only has six strings on it. And you can't really see it very well, but it's really bowed here, it's cracked here, and it sounds like absolute crap. It's a crap guitar, and I don't even know the last time I changed each string. It's probably been 20 years or more. But on this guitar, I have written a lot of the songs that you know and have heard and that's the one song today that I want to share with you guys is I wrote this little riff not 
with the band Northrop in 1987 with Johnny Edwards, but this riff was actually written in 1984 on this guitar and it was never finished. So this riff I just sat around, sat around, and I kept playing and everybody loved it and we just never did anything with it until I met Johnny Edwards. Uh, we formed the band called Northrop with my buddy Larry Hart and drummer Glenn Hicks. Uh, Ronnie Montrose produced our first uh, demo which became part of the, the record that was released as J.K. Northrop. Johnny took that riff on a recording. Uh, he used to live up or down here in California uh, up in a place called Forest Hills and he actually went out to the mountains, which that's where that place is, up in the mountains. And he sat out and looked at all the beautiful countryside there with the trees, put the headphones on, and he wrote the lyrics to Ready for the Rain. Came back to the studio and he sang it to me and we just went, okay, we got something here. And we broke up in 89. Johnny, of course, went on to sing for Foreigner and Foreigner did a version of this song uh, Mick Jones and Terry Thomas both kind of did some arrangement changes here and there. They did a very foreigner version of it with Johnny singing, which was fantastic. But in my opinion, the original way that we wrote the song, which was a lot more bad company, almost kind of Led Zeppelinish kind of a vibe. Um, so that's my story for today. I hope you really enjoy this. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these with other guitars, this same guitar, uh, playing certain songs and, and things and giving you a little story behind it. Peace, everybody. Get ready for the rain to fall. <laughs>
This is Dylan from Zenora, and you're about to listen to Sinner. This is the first music video we ever made, and we hope you like it.
Hey all you music lovers, it's Carly Jewel here from Melbourne, Australia and you're watching my video, Let You Down, on Rock Wars TV. Hello to Sean and everyone at Rock Wars Worldwide. Um, my name's David Hegarty, I'm the lead singer of the Liverpool band Hegarty and I'm here to just talk about our single, I Only Dream of Black and White. It was our, I Only Dream of Black and White was our first single we ever released and it tends to be um, most people's favourite song that we've, that we've done. The song's about, um, it's about making, making the best of what, what you've got really. Because where we're from, we're all from Bootle, which is like a working class town. You go up with what you need, do you know what I mean? So you've just got to make the best of it, and that's what the song is mainly about. There's a few hidden messages in there too, as well. So, um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the song. This is Hegarty, I Only Dream in Black and White. Sunset on the horizon. It's not surprising. 
Hello guys, I'm so glad to introduce you our song, Seize This Way. Uh, we recorded it last year, summer, and it's a song that we are so proud of because uh, we think it represents the essence of the band, uh, the hard rock we like the most, and people liked it very much in the first show we made, and I hope you like it as much as we do. And I invite you to follow us on our Facebook and Instagram and you will know about us very soon. Enjoy!
Hello everybody, I am Jacob Hoops, the guitarist for The Age of War. And I am Lucas Hoops, the drummer for The Age of War. Our bassist, Devin Moreno, couldn't be here with us today. But we're here to talk a little bit about uh, Wings of Steel and a video that was put out for it. And we're here doing this for Sean Mahoney and Rock Wars Worldwide. Um, the song was actually written and uh, just kind of nailed down in this rehearsal studio that we're sitting in right now. Um, it's, it's a pretty awesome place. We write a lot of songs, learn a lot of material here. So it really just kind of, it, it's, it's a good spot. And uh, the song itself is actually just about freedom and just being set free from your past hardships and stuff. And uh, what would you say, honestly, your favorite part of the song is? My favorite part of the song is, it's not the actual part in the, in the song, but it's the overall song in general because the crowd always has a good reaction to it and it's just a fast and fun song to play. Uh, my favorite part of the song, honestly, will probably have to be the very end of the song. It kind of comes to a climax and everything just kind of explodes. There's like two guitar parts that are different that kind of layer on top of each other with a bass harmony. And I know that's like a bunch of nerdy musician stuff. But, uh, you know, I, I, I tend to gravitate towards that kind of stuff. What would you say are your favorite bands that you've played recently with? My favorite bands that I've played recently with are Brutality. They are, they are a band we played a gig in Scranton in a few months ago. It was a really fun gig. And another band is Kin Soul. We played a recent gig with them. And it was just a really fun gig. There was a lot of people there and it was just pretty energetic. Um, and it's fun just doing a lot of gigs with different people and stuff. I mean, we're not doing any gigs now because of the coronavirus, but after this is over, it'll be a lot better to have some gigs and actually play instead of just doing how many we're doing now, which is none, but it's still fun. Yeah, we, we hope to get out and do that more. And we're also, we're in the process of cutting and recording a full, a full length album, seven songs. Um, the three that were on the EP will be on it, so we're going to add four more. And if you thought that the three songs that were on the EP were good, just wait till you hear these songs. They're, hopefully they will blow your mind. I, I know I'm blown away by them, and it's just absolutely awesome. So thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy the video, and we'll see you guys soon, hopefully. It's awesome.